like you have to be sneaky about your network marketing business? Hey there, Michelle Carey with AdamandMichelleCarey.com. So the other day I get a call from a gal and she's wanting to give me details about becoming an Amazon associate. And throughout the call, I started to feel like she was a little bit sneaky about the details that I was asking her. So by the time she was um, needing to ask me for another phone appointment, I basically had to turn her down simply because I didn't trust her. And when we hung up the phone, I really started to think about when we were early on in our network marketing career, how we were being sneaky about our business. We would hide the fact that our business was network marketing. Now, I'm not sure if you're struggling with that right now. Maybe you feel like you have to hide the fact that your business is network marketing. And maybe you're like us, where we felt like we had to do that because we were afraid that people would say no to our opportunity before even looking at the details, right? So what we found was if you're sneaky on the front end, it definitely affects their decision when it comes time to make it. And they're eventually going to find out that it's network marketing. So how do you get through your warm market without all the awkwardness, without feeling like you have to be sneaky? And if you've ever tried to get through your warm market, you know that sometimes it can be a little bit awkward. So here's how we do it. Let's say I'm calling up my friend Jen and I say, hey Jen, it's Michelle. Hey, I've started a business that's going to help me become a stay-at-home mom. Can you do me a favor and take a look at it for me in case you know someone that you could connect me with? And let's say she says, sure, sure. Um, yeah, this sounds like um, one of those pyramid things. And you could say pyramid as in network marketing, you mean? And she says, yeah, I guess. You could say, yeah, definitely, it is network marketing. She'll definitely appreciate you being upfront with that. And since you set it up properly from the get-go, you could come back around and say, you know, it's totally fine if you aren't into this, If and I'm going to respect that. But if you could just take a look at it anyway, in case you know someone that you could connect me with, and at least you'll know exactly what I'm looking for. Now you've set it up to where you're taking the pressure off of her. She's going to take a look anyway, even if she's not into network marketing. And if she says no, at least you have an advocate out there you know, that will openly refer someone to you if she runs into that right person. And there's no awkwardness there and you are straightforward. So you're definitely creating a win-win situation. And if you like this topic, if this helped you, you know, feel free to um, share with your team. And also, we talk about this topic a lot more in our chapter, The Sneak Attack MLMer, in our book, Don't Be That Guy in Network Marketing. So anyway, thank you for your three minutes, and we will definitely catch you at the next video. Cheers to your freedom, and have a great week.